Durango has been one of the most anticipated mobile games from last year. The game is sort of a Jurassic Park-like MMO, where players have to survive a world filled with dinosaurs. Unlike many other mobile MMOs, Durango has received a great deal of attention from gamers both in Korea and across the world. With six years in development time and over two million pre-registered players, it was finally released on January 25th in Korea. Since then, players have truly learned how a potentially promising game can get completely shaped by a poor launch. It all started when the server opened at 10 o'clock in the morning. 99% experienced the server crashed due to an overflowing amount of players. Those who were lucky enough to get in experienced multiple errors. For example, they weren't even able to leave the island you'd first start off in. So they would collect rocks and twigs to level up, which resulted in a wasteland of abandoned items. A few minutes after the ridiculous launch, Nexon had announced a 2 hour maintenance break, which then extended to 12 hours and finally resulted in 2 days! Even after that, people had to wait for hours to get into the game. People were outraged! Rightly so, there were so many 1 star reviews on Google Play and other app stores that the total rating of the game barely managed 2 stars. On social media, memes popped up roasting Rango, the land of errors, or maintenance go. The issue still persists, with queues in upwards of 10,000 players trying to get in. Even with its disastrous launch and ever long queues, the game managed a top spot on Korea's Google Play while players are still hoping for fixes to those issues so that they can get some more gameplay. Six years of development that resulted in error screens and queues. Will this happen again for a global launch? What do you guys think? Leave comments below and subscribe for more game news. Until next time!